Hey guys, so today I'm going to work on the sheeting. So I'm going to get the pressure treated plywood, cut the sides to fit, get them all sheeted up there, and then I'll cut out all the holes for the doors and the windows. So let's get started. Three-eighths light on this side and I'm 27 and three-eighths heavy on this side. Alright, so I got this first one cut out and went up test fit. It fits perfect. First try. That was nice. So now I can use the cut off piece to make the second one because it's already at the right angle. So I just got to cut off the bottom, notch the other one out, and it'll be the reverse side. This table is working good for cutting plywood. It's really flat and straight and I don't have to worry about cutting into the top of the table because I got the insulation in there. So, so far so good on that. Alright, so I got it all sheeted up, got the openings cut out, used that uh, router. Look how clean that router does with the panel bit. Now, you'd never get that cutting it out with a saw. I, don't, I couldn't anyway. And same thing with this opening here. Now I, um, <clears throat> I brad nailed it to get it in place, but then uh, I just tacked it up there, but then I screwed it in and I've tried to put these screws where there's going to be trim, you know, so all these screws should get covered up. All right, so, so far so good. It's, uh, you know, I had a lot of worries about this. I'm starting to get, I'm not, I'm not over the, out of the woods yet by any means. I've got a long ways to go, but starting to feel like, you know, it feels right so far. I jinx myself too much here, but here's the uh, window and egg hutch side. It's all done, and here's the back. So that would be the double doors and the clean out door. It's all sheeted up there. Hope 
hopefully the trim will cover most of these screws. Hey, somebody likes it. It's Milo. Okay. So inside here, you notice this side's not in, and that's because that's the only way that I can get the floor in. Four by eight sheet of high density is going to come through that bottom gap right there. So I got to, before I do anything else, I got to paint this whole thing inside and out. I'm going to paint all this up. Get it all painted. So then I'll uh, put the floor joist in and put the flooring in and then the deep litter box build that all up it'll cover the bottom foot of this and once that's all in then i'll come back put on the last sheet cut out those two openings and then we're going to move on to building egg hutches doors and windows but that's it for this one thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one